What's up guys, it's Eric. So at the beginning of this month, I made a video on New Year's resolutions and they were things that I wanted to tackle in 2019 with the channel and with my photography in general. And one of the things that I touched on is I wanted to shoot more 35 millimeter film and that's gonna be the subject of this video today. So recently I've realized that I, I don't shoot a lot of 35 millimeter. I think in general that's just because I primarily shoot medium format, I just really like how it looks, and scanning 35 millimeter tends to be more of a hassle, but it's something that I wanna do more of this year. Uh, I think that there's some interesting opportunities and some really interesting film stocks out there that aren't necessarily available in medium format. I'm looking at you, Ektachrome. So with that in mind, I'm going to be starting a new series of videos. I know, right, this is very formal and <laughs> different for me. It's not the kind of thing I normally would have done, but I think it's gonna be exciting and really fun. Uh, I'm calling it the 35 millimeter project, and essentially what I'm gonna be doing is going through a series of films that I've just never shot. And I'm gonna start with this bag of film. Right here. So, I mentioned this in the previous video, in the resolution video, but this is a, a bag of film that was sent to me. I didn't buy any of this, and uh, some of it's stuff you can only get in Asia. Some of it is uh, drugstore film. Some of it's weird 35 millimeter stuff from the film photography project. The only thing that this all has in common is that I know next to nothing about all of it, and I've never shot any of it. So what I'm gonna be doing is going through these film stocks one by one and doing a dedicated video on each one where we're going to explore what the film looks like, how it compares to other similar films, what the history of it is. I think it's going to be really, really fun. And what I want to do today in this first video, in this inaugural video, is introduce you to each one of these and then pick the very first subject, the very first film stock at the end of it. So let's go through these, okay? So in no particular order, I'm just gonna start grabbing them out at random and telling you what, if anything, I know about these. So the very first one here, this is from the Film Photography Project, and it says Eastman black and white film, plus X negative film, 5231 process black and white, ISO 80. I don't know anything about this. My guess with a lot of these, especially with the Eastman logo on there, is that this is related in some way to the motion picture industry, but I don't know. Second one here is Agfa Vista Plus 400. Drugstore film, right? I know you can get this all over the place. Film for color prints. I've never shot this. I know it's a consumer grade film. Um, I have shot some consumer grade films, drugstore films, but uh, I think what would be fun with this is exploring its history and seeing how it stacks up compared to pro grade films and uh, other cheap films that you can get at, you know, Walgreens. I mean, you could. Last I checked, I don't know if you still can. Here's another film photography project film stock. This is Eastman also, double X ISO 200. It's cool if you look at the, the art on this. It's got kind of a cool uh, label on here. It's like a foil, shiny label. It reminds me sort of when I was a little kid, I would collect comic books and sometimes they'd have these like foil covers that I thought were really cool. Um, I don't know anything about it. It's an ISO 200 black and white film, 24 exposures. Next up, it just says Kodak 100, 35 millimeter color print film. I'm gonna assume this is a, another drugstore film. Um, I've never shot this. I've shot Kodak Gold. I don't know anything about this. Be interested to see <laughs> what this actually is. Next, we have another film photography project, uh, film stock. Okay, I talked about this one in the video uh, last time. This is a Kodak 2254, super low speed, 35 millimeter film. This is an ISO 1.6 film. I have no idea. I assume that this is used in the motion picture industry in some capacity. I, I think I read a little bit about it. it it's like a, a test film. I don't know. Very excited to try this. I hope that I get this soon and get to take it out and shoot it. I see long exposures in that film's future. Next up in this sort of brown plastic, Fuji Color NHG2 800, professional grade. Uh, the name actually sort of rings a bell. 
I, I want to say this might be related in some way to like the, the pro grade films, like Pro 400H, but I'm not sure. Either way, it's an 800 speed film, which is exciting and should be fun. It says Daylight Balance, 800 speed. Um, I'm excited to try that out and see. Next we have Agfa, Agfa Pan, APX 100, professional black and white film. I, I think I've heard of this. Obviously, I've heard of Agfa. I don't know anything about this. I don't know if professional is an indication of the quality or if it's just sort of like a marketing term, but I'm anxious to try this and see how it compares to other black and white films I've shot. It's 100 speed, so comparable to Tri-X or T-Max. This is Fujicolor ISO 100, Process CN16. The rest is in Japanese. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. And I don't know, does process CN16, is that a reference to an alternative process to like C41 or? I have no idea. Um, I definitely will Google this and find out what I can before I, before I take that puppy out. Next is another film photography project, film stock. This is FPP Edu 200. It has a dog, uh, it looks like he just graduated from college. It says his name is Ollie. It's a 200 speed black and white film. I don't know anything about this. Uh, edu. And last, not as much mystery with this one because it's in a plastic container, but uh, this is Aero 100, ERA 100. I'm not sure. Um, everything on here is in Chinese. Um, I see that it's a 100 speed black and white film. Everything else is written in Chinese. I know almost no Chinese. I can say Wo Shu Meg Wo Ren, Wo I Her Her Pijo. Um, I'm sorry, I apologize for that if you speak the language fluently. So there you have it. I am so excited about this. I'm, I want to take these out, I want to shoot them, I want to learn about some new films. So what I'm going to do now is just pick one of these at random. I just, I don't know, close my eyes and pull one out, and that's going to be the subject of our first video. Does that sound good? I hope so, because that's, that's what I'm going to do. All right. It is a film photography project film. Okay, uh, so it's, <laughs> it's the super low speed ISO 1.6. Wow, okay. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to shoot this. I have no idea what this is for. I'm anxious to find out both. Um, what a way to, we're gonna start with a bang. <laughs> so that's what I've got for you guys today. I am super excited about this. I think that this is gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be really informative. I'm excited to learn about these stocks and see what kind of different looks we get. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think this is gonna be fun? Do you have any suggestions on how I could do things differently? If you have suggestions on other film stocks you'd like to see me use, uh, you know, as long as they're weird and out there and interesting, by all means, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to add to this and keep this going for the foreseeable future. Just keep them interesting, keep them weird, keep film photography weird. <laughs> so my bumper sticker on my car says. But yeah, I am excited. I think this is gonna be really cool. I hope you guys are into it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.